Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yasin. I make photos and videos. And for today's episode, I'll be trying the new Sam Calder's Lightroom preset bundle. Let's see if they are as legendary as everyone says. Okay, so I went ahead and uploaded uh, some random shots I took last year. So this preset pack comes with 12, like, 14 presets because two of them are just for underwater yeah let's see okay so this picture is night shot as you can see taken in berlin and let's go no okay number two is interesting uh -huh, uh -huh. okay okay number eight is also int very interesting And 12 okay okay so number two number eight and number 12 um, okay for this one I think I'll go with number two so I'll just go ahead press auto see what the computer is gonna make out of this maybe lower the exposure and bring it back up so slightly a bit more contrast and then maybe more highlights not too much lower the shadows a bit kind of creating a moody picture you know for the rest i think it's all right oh there is no texture or clarity in these presets let's add some not too much because it's a night picture and i don't want any noise in it can always find you any presets and you don't have to stick with what the preset gives you okay nothing in the curve no that was way too much also it's hard to see my screen because i'm outside so i think i hope i'm not messing up pretty cool Nice preset. Next. <laughs> I love this picture so much. The guy is just flying. Okay, so first of all, let's crop this. Something like that looks cool. And then let's go. Preset one. Uh, no. Three looks alright. Five. A lot of them are pretty similar in my opinion. Okay, I think I'll go with 12. And yeah, this is on the water, so I don't think it's gonna work. But uh, I'll go ahead and uh, go with 12. Just press the auto button, see what it does. It did a pretty good job. Not, not a lot of difference, but still. Uh, maybe I'll bring up the shadows a little bit more. A little bit of exposure. I think that's it. Looks cool. Again, uh, I like to add some texture, some clarity like a bit of the haze like plus five or ten there you have it before and after pretty easy pretty fast pretty good okay we have here a nice sun flare let's see what fits best for it this one's difficult i don't know four or eight look kind of the same right let's go with let's just try four i don't know warmer clarity and a bit of the haze mm, looks all right this one is like eh. okay another one okay, I like this picture it's pretty interesting let's see if I can use any of these presets on there okay four is interesting Eight is also interesting. I, I, I gotta be careful with the skin tone right there because I saw some crazy presets. Yeah, eight is kind of interesting. Okay, here you can see the Sam Calder look right there, like the the oranges in the skin tones. So I think I'll go with number eight. There you go. Put a note on there. Um, I like the battle like that actually. Yeah, it's a bit overexposed in the skies, but... Oh, wait. I can still recover it, nice. I didn't think uh, I was able to recover that, but hey, there you go. Bring up the shadows a bit, because it's way too dark. Not too much, because we want to keep this moody, you know. Again, there's so much sunlight right now. I'm not sure if this picture is good, but I hope so. You tell me. Next. One is okay, 
and two is interesting. Mm, I, for now, I'll go with two or five. Two. Maybe five is more interesting. Six. They all they all look alike actually. I mean most of them, not every preset, but Okay, I think I'll go with five. And press the auto. Um the sky might be too saturated in my opinion. What about exposure? Maybe a bit up. It's kind of too sharp think in the trees so let's go into details and remove a bit of sharpening okay. let's see the before and after okay. kind of a good job okay picture of me in the Christmas lights during winter okay let's pay attention at the skin tones because when you see like this is not good for skin tone. Three is alright. Uh, eight as well. Why is this one over Because Let's see if I expose this correctly. No. I think eight, number eight is my favorite. Okay, let's go a bit warmer. And then a bit more exposure. Bring up the shadows a bit. Texture, clarity, and the haze, the usual. That's my style, you know, I like it. And uh, yeah, nice. There's one thing that annoys me on this picture is that uh, the background is way brighter than me. But I'm the subject in this picture, so I should be in focus. Off, then just invert it first of all remove that color because that's probably the last color I used when I use that mask so invert so that everything you do happens within the mask you can also do the opposite like everything that you do happens outside of the mask I'll try actually I'll do that so every modification I'll do here will be happening outside of the mask and what do we want we want to make it darker so you can exaggerate like this I'll go like minus 75. Just a bit more feather so it's smoother. That's it. There you go. Much better. Okay. Okay, number one, number one, no, two, nope. Three, yeah. Let's let's look further. Let's see what if we have something better than number three. No, I'll go ahead with number three. Works best on this picture, in my opinion, and I actually have nothing else to do. That's it. Maybe remove saturation a little bit, like the blues in the sky. So I'll go to HSL color, go to saturation, then color picker, and just. Yeah. There you go. There it is. Cool. Next. And last one, rotation first because this is not straight. Okay, and then let's go ahead and look for a good preset for this picture. Uh, number four, I like. I like number four on this one. Number eight. Number eight is, I think, my favorite one. It works on, on most of my pictures. And just a heads up, all these pictures are shot with the Lumix GH5. Most of them. I think this one is uh, this one is Canon, and all the rest is uh, Lumix GH5. Just so you know, I think preset works differently on different cameras because not all cameras have the same uh, color science. And I think some colder uses uh, Canon, if I'm not mistaken. But probably has more cameras. But his main camera, I think, is a Canon or eight. But I'll go with number four. Okay, I, well, okay, I just pressed the auto button and it did something. That's a tip for you. I know, like, every, everyone says, don't use automatic settings, don't do... 
I agree, automatic settings sucks, especially in a camera. But on Lightroom, just press the other button and just see what it does. Because it might save you a lot of time. Sometimes it does crazy shit <laughs> and then you don't want to use it. So you just adjust it manually. But sometimes, like this one, I don't think I have anything else to do. No, just maybe the exposure a little bit less. But other than that, that's it. Perfect. So, we had the first one, night photography in Berlin. Then we had with the breakdancer. This one I like the least. I couldn't find any preset that fits the best. I think this one was the best, but it's not that. Wow. Yeah, this one's pretty okay. I like this one a lot. The contrast with the blue and the orange, you know, the teal and orange, classic. This one's really cool as well, but there's not a huge difference, I think, before and after. Yeah, maybe just like more saturated, but other than that. Don't forget those presets are like 70 bucks, I think now. Rotate a little bit because it's not that straight. And there you go. This one is really cool as well. And then the last one, I think this one's my favorite in terms of colors. I see the same color look in this picture. Everything depends on, yeah, the, the, the shots you have, the exposure you have, the environment, the weather. That's how your preset is gonna work differently on your pictures, but I don't know why. This one works best. Uh, Sam Calder's preset. This was just literally an apartment with the natural light coming in through the window, as you can see. That's it. I hope you liked that video. Maybe consider subscribing, liking this video, Share it if you're into that as well. If you think they're gonna help you improve your color grading in Lightroom, then go ahead and mine them. I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, credits to Sam Calder. He's awesome, he's a legend. Those presets are cool. So that's it for today, and see you in the next one.